Don't mind if I do. Oh my gosh, I promise you, this stuff is amazing. So cute, right? Because these are great pressure points to kind of turn your mind down. But it comes on an app like this. It's always <laughs> Oh, we don't want no fine lines. Thank you, Foreo, for sponsoring this video. I wanted to make this episode specifically for anybody out there, which I know is like this big of a percentage, that takes the time to get quality sleep. Fam Bam, I did not appreciate what sleep could do for you until my 40s, i.e. like nine months ago. <laughs> I would go out until all hours of the night, hit up my gram till late hours, eat food, catch up on my binge watching. I would not want to go to bed. Then I got old. I realized that when you sleep, you feel so much better the next day. Your mind operates better. If you're working out, you see your muscles actually have results. Your conversations are more articulate. Your skin looks clearer. So I wanted to make this episode specifically to share with you fam how to get the best night's rest. Right, Gong? Speaking of which, I noticed in the comments from my accessories haul video, which I did right here in this bed, that y'all complimented Gong. Ever since Gong had his YouTube debut, a bunch of my friends out there bought him, including my very own best friend, Jared Blandino, you're welcome. So if you'd like to shop for a Gong of your own, Gong by the way means child or loved one in Vietnamese, Gong can be purchased at Barney's. He's a load of money. Hey! You're never too old for a stuffed animal. So Gong, the reason why I love him is because he has this really cute <laughs> belly that makes it really, really soft and cuddly to lay on. He also has these floppy ears that lay over my eyes when it's too bright outside. He's good and easy to stuff into small places when you need to pack him on the plane. So Gong is the perfect friend. Comes in all shapes and sizes too. Before I decided to go to bed, I had to clean my face so that my skin felt super, super fresh and so clean. With my Luna 3, I showed you guys this toy before. It's still my fave. Me time. Mm-hmm. It's really good for exfoliating your lips. Oh, I feel so good. But did you know that it's also an anti-aging device? I know. You know when you go to a fancy hotel, they ask you if you want turn down service? And turn down service is when they prepare the room to get you into that relaxed mode. They turn down the lights, they might set a cookie on your pillow, they fluff your sheets. Why don't you have your own turn down service for your body and your mind? If you're like me, after the day, you're like running around and you've got like a million things going on in your head, you actually don't settle down for sleep. It's important that you put yourself through a turn down service so you can really turn off your mind and enjoy your rest. The Ferreo Luna 3 does that for me. So on my phone, I have the Ferreo app. I've showed you that before. You just download it simply. And then you can go through different massages that the Foreo can take you through. Eyes on the prize with this two minutes. Nothing but neck for two minutes. You can also do contour crazy for four minutes. I want to do nothing but neck, which tighten and firms your neck with this relaxing firming massage that revives skin for a younger complexion. This is an essential oil that I'm going to rub all over my neck and take some of that oil. Massage my beautiful neck. I really like taking care of my neck. Do you know that that's the first area that shows signs of aging? I know, I put extra sunblock on my neck. It's easier too, because I don't wear makeup on my neck. I'm able to reapply it and make sure that my neck never ages. No, honey! Nothing but neck. Start treatment. Across the neck. Help uh, firm and tone the neck while fighting against fine lines. Repeat this movement continuously down the neck five times. Don't mind if I do. While fighting against fine lines. Oh, we don't want no fine lines. She looks so calm. Next, glide Luna 3 down the outside of the neck towards the shoulder. What I like about the Luna 3 is that these bristles get in really deep to clean your pores. The back of the device, however, has this ribbed finish. You actually feel it massaging all of the areas around your neck to rub in the serum or whatever oil you put on your skin. BT dubs, if you're hearing footsteps, it is absolutely mama my because when I'm in bed getting ready for my day tomorrow, she is coming back from partying. True story. What else is part of my wind down service? When it comes to my bedroom, I like fluffy, calm, cool colors. I thought Kahi really kicked ass when it came to my living room. Your Welcome house. home! Oh, sh this room now reflects you. This is your yes, room your where place. it was not before. So I think I'm gonna have her redesign my bedroom. What do you think? I wanna get your guys' input, but I'm thinking like nude and blush and lilac textures. Lots of pillows. Comment below, let me know what you think. Remember that when you go to sleep, it's the perfect time for your body to rejuvenate. You wanna do all the things that you need for your body to repair. For me, 
My favorite thing to do when I'm sleeping by myself is to put bag bomb on my feet and to put on cozy socks. I've mentioned bag bomb in a previous episode about skincare, but what it basically is, is this jar. It comes bigger than this, but this is the one I like to leave by my bedside. Farmers know all about it because they use it for cow udders. Yes, girl, they get all the cows to like feels nice and like smooth on their udders. So you get really good milk and you're able to like milk them and they feel comfortable. I don't know what it's for, but it really, really works well. I like to make sure that my toes and my heels are always nice and smooth. I don't like any cracked heels. I don't like any lines anywhere on my feet. It looks like a thick petroleum jelly like this. Oh my gosh, I promise you, this stuff is amazing. When you put bag bomb on your feet, you never have to touch it again for like at least a week. I also get my knees, get your heels, get below on your feet, get on your toes. Once you moisturize your feet, with the bag bomb, I like my hands to get there too, my knees. Then, cotton socks, just like this, to lock in the moisture. So cute, right? When you wake up and you take off these socks, your feet are like a baby's behind. They're so good. Nothing works like bag bomb, I'm telling you. Use it on rough areas like your heels, your ankles, your cankles, your toes, your fingers, your elbows. I wouldn't put it on your face. It's super, super rich. I also like starting a little aromatherapy around me. You know who actually turned me on to this is Tamara. Tamara Housley, thank you so much. What I like to do is I take the oil and I warm it up in my hands like this. And then I put it right underneath my neck, on my jaw, behind my earlobes right where my jaw opens and closes, that little hinge. If you start to get yourself in the habit of smelling the same scents before you go to bed, you get used to having this beautiful aroma that takes you off into dreamland. I also like doing it on my temples because these are great pressure points to kind of turn your mind down, you know? Circulating it around my forehead, taking it back down around my ears and then behind my neck. I also really love taking the leftover oil in my hands and taking deep breaths inside of my hands. It's so good, I love this. So the ones I would recommend you collect are bergamot and lavender. Another fun tip you could do with your oil is if you're about to travel or if you have trouble sleeping on planes, you can actually take some of the oil, dab it onto a handkerchief or some type of sash and carry it with you on the plane or on a long car trip and just kind of smell it while you're sleeping so that that way it takes you off into dreamland as if you're in your own very bed. I want you to have some practices that you can do whether you're in your own bedroom or out on travels because the more you can repeat the same habits of things you do before you go to bed, the better of rest you can get. So try to create as many sleep rituals that are easy for you to take on the road. On that note, I was that girl who's heard so much about meditation. I've never been that type to meditate because I'm always on the go and I don't take the time to sit there and I don't know, I used to think that you'd have to like cross your legs and do the whole om thing, chanting. But meditation is really just the skill of being able to turn off your mind and to be present in the moment. I would actually even know the breaths that I'm taking. Like if you really think about it, you never think about how many breaths you take in a day. You're just breathing. But if you took the moment to concentrate and really deeply enjoy the 10 next breaths you're gonna take, it brings you to such a nice tranquil part of your mind. And that in essence is meditation. Where's my phone? A very special person to me told me about an easy app to start learning how to meditate. Her name is Louise Hay. This woman does guided meditations so that you can envision yourself in a scenario that really gets you to calm down and be present. I have it on my Android. You can find it on your iPhone, but it comes on an app like this. It's always... <laughs> Turn the volume down because it's really alarming in the beginning. You have options of like five minute, 10 minute, or 15 minute meditations. The music is great. They're positive, they're affirming. And I would even listen to it with headset or earbuds. So you can drown out the rest of the noise, like Mama Mai clomping up and down the stairs from her party. Comment below, tell me how it works for you because I swear it's helped me so much in my clarity. A couple of other things if you cannot turn your mind off to fall asleep are great books. My latest one is called The Sleep Revolution. It's by my good friend, Ariana Huffington. It's an amazing book that breaks down the science of sleep. It talks about the way you can actually feel your body get to a nice chemical balance when you get enough sleep. It talks about the ways that you can manifest more of your dreams because you get enough of the rest that your body needs. It's an awesome book. Also, take a look at your mattress and your pillows. I know this doesn't sound like a big deal. I used to be that girl that would just shop for like cheap pillows at Ross, but now I've taken a more invested interest in getting pillows that are like plushy and get me excited to like sink into my bed. I also like pillows that allow me to sit upright so I can read or feel comfortable in my own bed. Check the quality of your mattress. Make sure it's not due for like a turn or maybe a new mattress altogether. Also, if you have problems actually sleeping, I really like weighted things on my eyes. 
I found this eye mask, which is so sick. It's made out of rice and lavender oil. So you smell lavender on it, but what it does is when you lay it on your face, it gives you like a weighted feel on your eyelids. And for some reason, it puts you into a deep slumber. When I don't have something like this, I know this sounds crazy, but I can always find a dark t-shirt. One time I went to Adrian's house to sleep over when Israel wasn't there. I asked her to go dig for a black t-shirt in his closet and I was able to fall asleep like this in a new bed because dark t-shirts with a cool material feel so good when you just sleep with it over your face like that. You think I'm crazy? Try it. It's the best thing ever and it's different from an eye mask. It's just, it's, it's a totally different feeling. Your phone by your bed. So this is where I usually have my phone, right? I am now working on having my phone plugged in at another side of the room. I actually don't even want it in my bedroom. I really want to live my life where my phone isn't controlling when I wake up and what I'm thinking about. I want this phone to be on when I'm ready for it, not when it's ready for me. So I have a separate alarm clock now and I'm moving this plug to the other side of the room. I'm all about getting less distractions before I go to sleep. Hello, 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 hello. Oh my God. Mom. <laughs> that looks beautiful. What are you do? Don't put your shoes on my bed. I don't. Mom, you have to turn this way. Look at the cameras. What are you? <laughs> Where you did doing? you just come home from? Party. I just want to um, confess. I lost your earring already. You see that? You wore my earrings out tonight and you lost them? Yeah, I lost them. Where's it. the other one? I lost both of them. I don't know why. Mom. I don't know why. Don't worry. I'll buy you a new one. Do you know how many nights I go to bed on time to enjoy my nice rest, and this one comes home two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, one time five in the morning, looking like this, Just smelling like, like you. this? Mom, where did you go tonight? Nightclub. Where's my earrings? I lost it. I'm not I'm dancing. I don't know where is it. The guy tried to kiss me. Or something. I don't know what happened. Mom, what do you love to do before you go to bed? What do I love to do before I go to bed? Check my Instagram. Do you do anything? Answer. Do you do anything to relax? I don't do anything. Why? What is your tip for people when it comes to relaxing before you go to bed? Okay, turn on the music. That's all I do. My Stop mom's actually the polar opposite of me. She plays Michael Jackson, Thriller, or Beat It before she goes to bed. She lays with her Instagram on. So her Instagram is playing music or whatever video she's I watching. That. that one minute clip will play on and on until I see her in the morning. She sleeps with all her makeup on. She doesn't change out of her clothes. Mama Mai is the complete opposite. So you tell me, fam, which one do you vibe with more? Me or Mama Mai? When you about my age, you do the same sh like me. So don't complain about it. Fam, I gotta go to sleep. Mama Mai, you're gonna go take a shower. Check out the link in the description below to shop all the gorgeous products that I showed you today. Good night, that's the ugly rabbit. Good night. <laughs> Thank you, Pareo, for sponsoring this and giving me a good night's sleep. Good night, everybody. Subscribe, comment below.